Imagine entering a world where everyone speaks a language you've never heard before and can't understand. This might sound like the start of a sci-fi movie, but it's something you've already experienced. When babies enter this world, they don't know anything about their native language, and no one tells them the rules. But within a couple of years, they show an impressive mastery of language. This phenomenon has puzzled researchers for decades. Just how do humans learn language? A novel answer to this question might lie in the patterns that exist within language. Our brain likes patterns because they're easy to learn. And language is essentially a system of patterns and regularities. We learn these patterns through a process known as statistical language learning. And we call it statistical learning because we can quantify the patterns we see across language. For my PhD, I'm combining behavioral and brain imaging techniques to understand the process of statistical language learning. My research is focused on the patterns we use to figure out where words begin and end, which is the basis for learning new words. One of the most informative patterns for this are the statistical relationships between syllables. Think of the phrase three-minute thesis. The syllables of minute have a high probability of co-occurrence. Min is followed by it more often than min is followed by most other English syllables. There are also cues that these are separate words. The syllables it and the don't go together very often because minute could be followed by thousands of other words, making this relationship less predictable. It's this difference in the statistical relationships of syllables within versus between words that helps us figure out where words begin and end. One way to study statistical learning in the lab is by using artificial languages. Artificial languages are a great tool because we can isolate the patterns people use when learning a language. I have found that by using just the statistical relationships between syllables, people can learn words in a totally novel language. What's more interesting is I can use this paradigm to understand the cognitive processes that underlie statistical language learning. I have found that statistical learning involves attention, which we use for learning in all sorts of domains. But it also relies on processes that are specific to learning language. I'm also looking at how the brain responds when you hear an artificial language for the first time. I've found that your brain begins to pick up on the regularities between syllables even before you're aware of the language's structure. Studying statistical language learning has given us a better understanding of how humans learn language when no one tells us the rules. Learning statistics isn't just a good tool to have in grad school, but maybe the key to how humans learn language. Thank you.